Thank you, Hilda, and why in the morning, Tim, back at the studio. So my name is Dominic, as Hilda has mentioned, the host of the Power Talk Show that comes to you every Wednesday from 8.30 to 9.30 and on Thursday from 11 to noon. And we are live from Nyayo National Stadium today as we celebrate the 55th uh, independence. We are celebrating our independence, 54 years since we became a, a republic. Jamhuri basically means a republic. And we are here. The people are still coming in. The podium is still getting filled. The incident podium is still is here and I have my co-host here my co-host here Vivian hey hi how are you I'm great mm -hmm. what are you thinking it's a great day isn't it it's a great day and so many people are expected to be here you know about 30,000 people are expected mm -hmm. to um, uh, be here 30,000 30, I don't number. know if we'll make that number because as far as I can see not so many people are here already mm -hmm. but we expect them to reach this place anytime I, I, uh, is anybody on the way um, are you on the way? Are, are you, you coming? <laughs> you, should, you should be here. I mean, this is going to be great. So yeah. remember, as I mentioned to you, we became an independent country on uh, 1st of June, uh, yes. 1963, right? 1963. And then the following year, in 12 December, we became a republic. Yes, and, and that's what we are celebrating today. And, and we want them to tell us the difference. Years since the, by the way, now let's challenge you guys, Kidogo, too, so that we know um, your knowledge in this, you know, on this. Mm -hmm. When exactly, what, or rather, what is the difference between Madaraka Day and Jamhuri Day? What is the difference between Madaraka and Jamhuri? Is it the same thing for you? Mm. So could you could you could you text us in or you go to our uh, social media pages, go to White 54 on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and you can even you can talk to us and tell us what's the difference between Jamhuri and Madaraka. Jamhuri and Madaraka. So we won't let you guys know right now. Mm -hmm. Let's get to hear from them, Kwanzaa. And I, I guess I didn't introduce myself very well. Yeah, so for those do who don't know me, I go by the name Vivian Degwa, and I'm a presenter on the buzz that is a show that airs on tuesday 7 30 p.m um on y254 on y254 mm. and as i mentioned again i am uh, dominic and i host the power talk show i think whose show is whose show is whose show okay which show is, which show is greater me yours or, okay so <laughs> of course our show is greater you know it's more entertaining uh -huh. the buzz is more entertaining and huh? mine you is have more to educative agree with me. and entertaining <laughs> <laughs> so and anyway, i just want to give you a quick run of our history as you know very well it became an east african protector in 1895 mm -hmm. and then uh, in 1920 we became a, a K we, we officially were known as Kenya mm -hmm. but Kenya crown uh, colony yes. and then for 43 years we were a British colony mm -hmm. and in 1963 43 years later we became an independent uh, country and some of the people that we celebrate you you know some of the people that we celebrate so many of them I mean there's Mze Jomo Kenyatta there's Jeromogi Oginga Odinga we have Bildad Kagia mm -hmm. we also have Paul Ngei mm -hmm. we have Achiang Oneko I mean I know them I, I like all of them did, did you know Adwi Kotek is actually not mm -hmm. just a street name, it's a person. Oh, right. but there's that street. Mm, there's that street. Ikwa, ikwa it's a Hallingham, I think. Ah, exactly. Yeah. So he's also a person. He's a person. And then <laughs> we, we've got Koitalel Arab Samoy, mm. who actually led the Nandi uprising, where more than 20,000 uh, Kalenjins and Nandi mm. from the Nandi community were killed mm -hmm. as they were fighting to, to get the, the White Highlands. Exactly. And we also have Masinde Muliro. Masinde you Muliro? Know Masinde Muliro, mm -hmm. the, the um, the university Masinda Muliro was named after, after yeah. this great fighter. Uh -huh. You know, those people who really fought hard for our country to be where it is now. Absolutely. And then you see how people like Dedan Kimadi who fought under the Mau Mau, mm -hmm. which were comprised of the Maasai, the Kamba, the Meru, the Agikoyo. Mm -hmm. You know, they were fighting for the uh, for independence and they were doing it from Mount Kenya. Mm -hmm. And we lost between 12,000 to 20,000 freedom fighters during that period of uh, from the 1940s as they were fighting for independence. I mean, exactly. we really have people that we are celebrating, uh, celebrating today. Yeah. And I want you to tell us, what do you think about Jamhuri Day? Mm -hmm. Do you think Jamhuri Day has lost its meaning? Do you think, are we really independent? Uh, do you think we are economically independent? You know, Jamhuri Kenyatta used to say we are fighting poverty. Poverty, ignorance and uh, diseases. Poverty, ignorance and disease. Yeah. Do you think 55 years later we are doing any any difference? Are we, yeah. are we making any difference? So, th those two questions, actually two questions, yes. We have two questions that we have asked you. The first one was? Um, uh, the what is the difference between Jamhuri Day uh -huh. and Madaraka Day? And Madaraka Day, <laughs> yeah. and I'm asking you, where do you think, how do you think we are faring on when it comes to poverty, ignorance, and disease? Yeah. The three enemies that mm -hmm. Jomo Kenyatta, our, our founding president, said we are fighting. Yes, how do you think we are faring? Yeah, fifty-five years now later. Now we also have artists who are going to be entertaining the crowd here. So if you're no, on your way here, please just know that there's so much in store for you. There's so many artists that are lined up to put up a show 
for us and by us I mean all of us including mm -hmm. you who's mm -hmm. the viewer yeah. and right about now I am about to have an interview with the one and only Susu Mila Yay. yes <laughs> How are you, Susu Mila? I'm good, I'm good. Mambo Vipi? Safi sana. Samba Makabisa? Kabisa. Mambo Shwari? Ashkuru. Asubu yako inendele ya Vipi? Asubu yangu ndo kama hivu naona weza mzuri, mm. so na shkuru ya. Yeah. Yeah. Sasa una expect nini kutoka siku hii ya leo? Kwamba kuenta tenu watu, Kenya mzima najua sayi naangalia, mm. kuenta tenu watu na kufraika tuwa. Mm. Yeah. Um, do you feel like um, the youth have been incorporated nowadays as in more in this national, um, uh, in the national ceremonies? Yeah, sana sana ndo mano naona mtukua mimi ni kwa hapa. Zamani nilikuwa sana sana utakuta watu ambona perform kwa events kama hizi na watu wazima. Mm. Kiangali hata bendi za jeshi za polisi wengi yeah. tukonao vale ni vijana. Mm. So na, na, na fraia sana kwa sababu vijana it's like sayi wamepewa wa kipa umbele ya. Mm. Yeah. Alafu sasa wajua um, kitambo back then we used to have um, artists wamba walikuwa wanaimba nyimbo ambazo ni patriotic. You know patriotic songs. Yeah. We also had a rafton ambaye pia liimba. You know nyimbo ambayo? Yeah. Mungu baba tu Mbona mbona tuoni hivyo sasa na wasanii wa sasa hivi kama nyinyi mbona mwaimba mapenzi tu i say i think kuna watu waga wanaimba mm. but uh watu wenyewe azin wananchi wenyewe pia it's like waga kambi wanalenga hizo ngoma sio sana vile eh ndo unaona siku hizi watu wengi hawafuati hiyo njia kwa sababu it's like market ina ina i i azin i respond vizuri ama i spond i respond haraka kwa miziki kama hiyo na unajua sasa hii sasa hii competition iko juu so kila mtu inabidi anajaribu kuangalia kitu ambacho watu watapenda yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo tunafuata kile ambacho watu wanataka kusikiliza. Eh unajua sisi ni watu ambao tunafanyia tu, tu, tu watu. Yeah. So tunaangalia ukitoa ngoma mimi mimi personally nimeshaimba nyimbo za kuhusu uongozi na kila kitu mara moja but ikafika time like ukiimba watu wa respond. So inabidi unaachana nazo. Okay, okay, okay. So you the viewers, nyinyi ndo inaonekana mtaki kusikiza nyimbo patriotic, mtaki kusikiza nyimbo ambazo zinasifu Kenya yetu. Mtaki okay, tulitoka kwa enzi ambazo tulikuwa tunasifu mzee um, Moya. <laughs> kwa hivyo tupate nyimbo yote ambayo itamsifu kijana wa uhuru Kenya atatumuta kijana. Nyimbo za excellence, his excellence. Nyimbo nyimbo yeah. ziko watu wanafanya but as 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 you popular kama zamani as in I think zamani watu walikuwa wanapenda nchi yao sana kushinda sasa hivi. So kushinda sasa hivi. Yeah, I think oh. tatizo mahali. Mbona lakini sijaelewa ni kwa nini? Mm. Yeah, sijaelewa. Kwa hivyo wewe unatarajia nini kutoka kwa speech ya His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya Uhuru Kenyatta? Una expect nini kama msanii kutoka kwa speech yake? Kwamba miaka ijayo eh, atashughulikia zaidi mambo ya copyrights vitu kama hivyo na ile percentage ambayo ile inasemekana inafaa kwa enforced iwe enforced so that wa Kenya wapate kipaumbele vijana wa Kenya wapate kipaumbele wasanii wa Kenya wapate kipaumbele ndio tujengane kwa sababu unajua hapa ni kwetu na ni makosa sana ikiwa kuna uh, percentage kubwa ya miziki ambayo inachezwa hapa ni ya kutoka nje vitu kama hivyo kwa watu wengine hatuchezwi ama hatuitwi vitu kama hivyo so ni vizuri pia awe yeye ndo ana uwezo wa kutulinda sisi kwa kutokana na eh, eh, as in uh, miziki ya nje na vitu kama hivyo so I believe na najua ni kitu ambacho mwenye pia anajua na I think anawa connect but leo ningependa sana vitu kama hivyo tu tupate habari nzuri kutoka uh, na vitu kama hivyo kwa sababu so, uh, uh, lazima tuwe na uzalendo na uzalendo unakuja na kupenda vitu vya nyumbani kwanza yeah. unanielewa kwa sababu watu wa nyumbani wakinipenda lazima na mimi nitarejeshe yale mapenzi vitu kama hivyo kwa hivyo unasema kuwa rais uhuru kenyata leo akiweza kusema kuwa um, um, tv stations and radio stations zicheze like 96% of local content una unatumai kuwa DJs and presenters will do the same as in wataweza kuweka hivyo hata hata 60% ile ambayo iko mm. unajua uh, market eh, sana sana ina, ina respond kwa vile vitu inakuwa fed though kuna mitandao na vitu kama hivyo but ni vizuri kupeana direction ni ngumu kuzuia kabisa but ni vizuri kupeana direction so that watu wapate ile ile as in watu wazoe na nimekwambia watu wana, wana respond kwa vitu wanakuwa fed so let's feed Uh, our audience our music alafu from hapo mambo yatakuwa vizuri exactly so um susumilo umeenda kama hujatuambia utatuimbia nyimbo gani leo but it's okay <laughs> it is okay and right about now we also have jabi d right here with us jabi d yeah. eh umeweza boss shukran nashukuru eh? sana mashukuru na kungara kabisa nashukuru mzali this is your first time um performing in a national celebration yeah yeah kweli kweli yani unajua ni privilege na feel mzali god ni faithful yani unajua mm -hmm. my mom ndo alikuwa 
na perform hapa mama mimi mama perform hapa hivi sana yeye yeah, anakuanga traditional dance so unajua hata leo akiniona kwa tv mzee na perform hapa hivi mzee anafurahi sana yani wow that is super awesome so leo yuko hapa eh leo yuko hapa bado unajua na ni watch hebu mpe shout out mpe shout out eh big up mama mzee i love you sana yani <laughs> awesome so um what do you expect from today what do you expect of the day uh na expect yani unajua energy mbaya yani eh kama vim bada shoot setan yani so yani na expect to energy mbaya na unajua kujibamba cuz unajua like kupatiwa hii privilege yani na kupatiwa hii chance ya kuperform hapa hivi yani ni ni privilege poa so yani siezi jiangusha mzee hii naenda kupatia na best yani na naenda kujibamba alafu tunajua na kujanga tu hapa na kwa mafans lakini leo nimekama hapa hivi yani pia bado kuperform so na feel fit yani So nimemuuliza Susumila nyimbo ambazo nyinyi uh, wasanii wa sasa wanaimba. Kwanza wewe ni wa sasa kabisa. You know you're just new in the game. Not really new in the game but you're a young person who's doing music right now. And uh, tumeona wewe your type of music unatoa dance style music, you know, like uh, vimbada as in will there reach a time or uh, will there come a time where we'll see you singing a song that is praising Kenya or a song that is somehow patriotic? Uh, next year mwanzi itakuwa tofauti sana. Wasa expect yani a lot cuz unajua like kwa size na pia unajua like generation ni tofauti na generation wanga ina shift so unajua like na thank god nilianza kuimba kitambo but ime shift na mimi uh, this season ndo wasome ni jua unaona so this season pia unajua like mimi nikitoa niki mziki niko natoa zile mziki ningependa kufanya zile enzi zenye nilikuwa siimbi kuna enzi plan nilikuwa nasikiza muziki za wasana sema ai hizi muziki haziwezi hizi muziki zina bo so ni venye niko hapa kwa game na try kuleta ile kenya nilikuwa naenda kutafuta unajua before maybe ni okoke wasa alikuwa ananiona na imba god nilikuwa kwa club sana. So nikiwa nikienda church mimi nilikuwa wala wa kusema mazee gospel zina bo. Nilikuwa mtu wala watu wa kusema mazee muziki ya saa hizi mazee Kenya mimi sizi sikiza muziki ya Kenya na sikiza tu international. Lakini saa hizi mazee naleta ile Kenya nilikuwa na feel haiko enzi yenye nilikuwa na complain. So naleta tu yani ni kama tu Kenya ule boy wa saa hizi anaweza sikia na abambike. So hata message zangu na zipackage na way that ule boy wa kawaida itakuwa easy akae chini asikize. Unajua jamii ni kongole mtu mwenye nikitulia base. Wasa wanasema ukika ngoma maybe am Kenya wanasema ah mazee toa hizo ngoma zilipwe jaba unacheki lakini sasa saa hizi mazee yani najua ule boy ni hata jana jana nilikuwa mta yangu nilikuwa nikiperform na naona sing along word by word naona mazee eh, god ile kenya alikuwa anataka ni nilete ni, 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 ni nimeleta already so but next year mazee wasee wa nini like na, na surprise wa satana za kuja na worship hata okay. naweza kama nani yani wasoa wa watch out your space next year all right all right so sasa what are you going to perform for us today. Nimeona pia moja shot baba yuko around kwa hivyo najua vimba da iko kwenye line. Uh-huh. So, leo tutakuwa tuna shoot setani yani devil lazima already yani 2018 na forever kwa life yetu devil lazima already. So leo tutakuwa tuna shoot setani na tutakuwa tuna vimba da energy itakuwa mbaya yani unajua vimba da inamaanisha energy mbaya. Mm-hmm. So leo ni energy mbaya na devil lazima already pia. Exactly. Thank yeah, you so much. Yeah. Nashukuru sana. Ah, yeah. sawa sawa. So now you've had it from Susumila and Jabidi and of course there's so many other people who are expected to perform today i've seen moji shot baba around here i've seen dj shiti by the way and i am i am uh, i am quite sure that he is going to be the mc of the day today sasa domini muona vile kutakuwa na energy how was the interview by the way first of all amazing ah vijana wako na energy by the way i mean they are so ready to entertain us what did you ask me What did I ask them? <laughs> no, ni, what did you ask? Wapi? Or what did I ask you? No, what you when I was coming in you asked me a question. Mm. Then ka kuinterrupt ka kuuliza what how was the interview? I was asking you how do you feel? Oh, I mean, how do you amazing, feel the right? energy in right. the in the, in this place right now? There were some performances happening back there mm. by I think Music Kenya or something. I think they called them Music Kenya or Kenya Music something. Yeah. And it was it's still going to be dance again they're going to perform again mm. and it was absolutely amazing. I loved yes. it. There's so much energy here. Mm. People are still trooping in and And, uh, the music playing is great we had some traditional music being played i i i can't wait for the full thing to start mm-hmm. and i don't want you to miss this because it's absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful remember the question that we have asked you guys who are watching us at home we've asked you what's the difference between jamuhuri day and madaraka day remember jamuhuri day is celebrated on the 12th of december and we um uh, i was about to get the cut out of the bag eh? please don't <laughs> Jamhuri Day is celebrated on the 12th of December. Madaraka Day is celebrated on the 1st of June. So that's just a hint. Yeah. So tell us what's the difference exactly? What do we celebrate in this uh, during this Days. Two days, yeah. yeah. And then the, ne- the next question is, Mze Jomo Kenyatta, our founding father, first pri- prime minister, said we have three basic enemies that we are fighting: mm. poverty, ignorance, and disease. H- 
how do you think we are faring on so far? How do you think that we are doing? Are we are we getting anywhere? President Kenyatta is in with this uh, the big four agenda, right? Yes, yes, and yes. And yes, yes. one of them is universal health care. Universal tomorrow, health care, affordable uh, housing. Affordable housing, uh, enhancing manufacturing. Yes, and food security And food as security. Well. Mm -hmm. And actually tomorrow he is in Kisumu launching the universal health care card at Kisumu and uh, part of the Big Four Agenda and maybe part of the Handshake. Eh? <laughs> handshake <laughs> Manenos. <laughs> Alright, so guys, uh, we have to wrap up for now. We'll be back with more uh, from uh, live from Nyayo National Stadium on Jamhuri, I mean, focusing on Jamhuri celebrations. Yeah. But now we've got to give it back to Hilda and the people in the studio. Why in the morning? And we'll, we'll see you right, right back after the break. Amaniaza? Yes, exactly. We'll be back in a few.